Do you like playing games? Let's play the money game. Let's learn how to win the money game. Okay, the money game has several levels, like any other game. You need to succeed to get to the next level. Let's start. Level 1 is basic. You get cash. You use this cash the same day to buy food. How do you go to the next level? Just don't spend more than you have. If you overspend, you're stuck in level 1. Great, you have reached level 2. Level 2 adds one big challenge. Time, or rather time mismatch. So you get paid, but only twice a month, or once. And you have to buy food every day. And to top it all, you have one big expense, your rent, once a month. Most people get stuck at level 2, because our brain is not good at managing time. It's as if juggling with different balls, but you only have two hands. How to reach the next level? Manage your money. Don't let money manage you. Level 3. So your income is not every day, but some expenses are every day, or once a month, or once a year. In level 3, to increase the challenge, there are tons and tons of things you can buy. Tons of ways you can spend your money. Millions of shopping malls, thousands of online shops. Now that's hard for a short and wired brain. There are just too many cool things to buy. One is frustrating. Because there are more things you can't buy than things you can buy. Two, it's deceiving. You make choices between things you can see. But it's easy to forget about other expenses you don't see. But your income stays the same. Today's choices impact tomorrow's. Be careful and make smart choices in order to reach the next level. Level 4. So you got the time mismatch and there are too many things to buy. Level 4. Add some spice. Uncertainty and risks. Some expenses are not known. And your income may not be the same every two weeks. And this level has worsened over the last 10 years. Before we were expected to get a fixed salary, which made the time mismatch much easier to manage. Now, many people get an irregular income and sometimes two or three jobs to make ends meet. Level 5. At this stage, you have managed spending less than your income, despite the time mismatch and despite all the so many cool things to buy. With the additional challenge of irregular income and some surprise expenses, Ready for the next challenge? You have to manage virtual money. Money is no longer banknotes and coins, but just digital numbers in computers. So it's much harder to see how much you spend and how much money you have left. Money has become abstract. You have to manage money with your intellectual brain. And most often, we spend with our emotions, our heart. Money may be virtual, but consequences are real. What happens if things go wrong in the game? You overspend with your card, there are too many cool things to buy, and you forgot about a bill. And you had an emergency expense, and you earned less this week. There is no undo button with money, no logging off. Overspending means debts, and debts don't decay. A bit like nuclear waste, they mostly stay forever. Even worse, unattended debts grow, interest compounds, like mice, multiplies very quickly if you don't pay your debt in time. Late interest become a debt that bears interest too, and before you know it, you are deep in the debt pit. Level 7. We are reaching the last level now. The rules of the game are clear. You don't spend more than you earn. But there are many challenges. Time mismatch. Too much choice for a short and wired brain, and sometimes income is not there, or an emergency pops up, and money is all virtual. It's gone before you touch or see it go. There is no undo button, and if you don't pay attention, problems grow over time. The ultimate challenge is that when you press help, it is all in a funny language called finance that has nothing to do with plain English. Game over. No one do button, help is hard to understand, but there are tools to win the money game. You just can't wait and do nothing. Knowing the challenges 
makes it easier to overcome them. So now let's have a closer look at these tools.